A car that runs on water instead of gasoline. Can it be true? Well, inventor Stanley Meyer made an announcement today in Colorado Springs. He says he's come up with a device that will hook up to any engine and allow it to run on good old H2O. News 13's Kurt Goff tonight on the possible impact of the water fuel cell. The national Stanley Meyer says the answer to dependence on foreign oil lies all around us. The spark plug and replace it with the water fuel cell injectors you see right here. Mm -hmm. We simply feed ordinary non-processed water or processed water in here and as the water goes into the injector uh, it hits a very high pulse voltage frequency which instantly converts it into thermal explosive energy and as a result we can run this car down the road on water. Meyer's invention was introduced in Britain earlier this month, and now the Brits have followed him here. That we recently took a scientific delegation to witness Stan's work, to really evaluate it, and came back saying, this is one of the most important inventions of the century. With oil prices soaring and fuel protests spreading across the globe, it almost sounds too good to be true. Friendly vehicle in Osaka. Once water is poured into the car's tank, an energy generator takes hydrogen from the water, releasing electrons that power the car. The main characteristic of this car is that no external input is needed. The car will continue to run for as long as you have a bottle of water inside for you to add from time to time. According to Gene Pax, a litre of water will keep the car running at a speed of 80 kilometres for around an hour. The company hopes to go into mass production with a Japanese manufacturer. With car users around the world looking for alternative fuels to power their vehicles, Gene Pax may well have the solution they've been looking for. Michelle Kalal Al Hudi, Reuters. Also rising, FCX Clarity. Honda has just unveiled its next generation car, the FCX Clarity produces zero carbon emissions, just plain old water. It's powered by a hydrogen fuel cell and can run 100 miles an hour. But Honda is not going to sell you this car. Its initial plan is to lease the car only to about half a dozen Hollywood types like Jamie Lee Curtis and Christopher Guest. Apparently they're trying to generate some buzz. Mass production is still at least a decade away. In the meantime, the big thing in uh, the big thing out there is still the hybrid, but with a difference. You can plug it in and charge it I don't know if anybody else can see this, but it looks like there's an alien in the cell in the reflection. How's that? Is that cool or what? See that? Wow. Maybe it's alien technology. And uh, there's our cell. Looks pretty productive to me. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, there's our, got a 25 amp fuse, relay, not even hot, a little warm on the relay, fuse is cold. There it is behind the grill, and let's see if we can put this grill back in here. There we go. That's the way it is, boys and girls. This is a five gas analyzer. If you analyze the gas coming out of a modern car, you'll find that 99% of the gas is being burned efficiently. You're only not burning 1%, so you can't improve more than 1%. He has two descriptions for these so-called hydrogen generator kits. <laughs> Worthless spin or pure fantasy. Take your pick. It's just a gimmick. Uh, yeah, I've sure. read some of them where the guys say, oh, it, it'll turn the H2O into hydrogen. Hydrogen burns fine. Great. But the bond between hydrogen and oxygen is so strong. If it was that easy to do, we'd all be driving hydrogen cars now. It's just a make-believe story that people do. 